As I mentioned in the previous movie, a file in the Director 11 configuration folder named extrainfo.txt includes the URLs for all the extra extensions included in Director. Here's that file opened up in a text editor. Now you may need to manually edit this text file to add the URLs for third-party extra extensions or extra extensions not included with Director. One of the advantages of working with such a mature application and authoring environment like Director 11 is that there are quite a number of third-party applications and extensions to improve and increase the capabilities of Director. Most of these require extras or extra extensions to perform correctly, so you'll need to go in here and add perhaps those URLs for those third-party extra extensions. This extra info.txt document includes a description of how to enter this information. Many extra developers also provide installation programs or other means of modifying this text file automatically for you. If a user chooses to download an extra extension, Director retrieves the extra extensions from the URLs specified here in this document using the VeriSign download security system. VeriSign is a standard means of downloading software from secure servers. Remember, you can also exclude or include extra extensions from projectors using the Modify Extras dialog down here. There's an option for Include in Projector. Let me now review the most common extra extensions that are usually required for the movie to play back correctly. Here is a list of those extensions. It includes extra extensions that create cast members, such as text, flash, vector shapes, Windows Media, QuickTime, and so on. Shockwave audio extensions. This is if the movie uses these files in the SWA format. Transition extra extensions if the movie uses third-party transitions. Import extra extensions if the movie uses non-standard types of linked external cast members. Network extra extensions are required for a movie to access the internet. And scripting extra extensions are required if the movie uses any special script that requires these extra extensions. So there you have it. That will conclude this section of the tutorial all about distributing and publishing your director movies. In this detailed and longer section, you've learned all about the proper planning of your director projects to avoid problems when you do come to distributing and publishing your files, how to test your movies to avoid problems. You've learned about the various distribution formats and methods, how to preview movies in a browser that you want to publish via the internet, how to create internet shockwave content. You've learned a little bit about how director streams its movies. And then we went through in detail the various publishing settings here in the Publish Settings dialog, including all those settings in the formats, projector, files, shockwave, HTML, and image tabs. And then I concluded this section with a pretty thorough review about extra extensions and how to manage your extra extensions. So that will also wrap up this tutorial in terms of new content. Let me now move on to the next section and give you a formal wrap-up of this tutorial on Director 11.